Welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billum, and we're doing another demo discourse, which is basically where I play through a game and we sit around and talk about it, kind of like a let's play. This time, we are looking at Curse Crackers, For Whom the Bell Toils. This is one I've been watching for a little while. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this and, you know, see what it's got for us. Um, empty file, start it up. some fun lore starting out. You can't tell this is a very, uh, it, it makes me think Game Boy, but at the same time, oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> it it gives off like a an NES or even a Game Boy color kind of feel. Of course I'm going to play this tutorial. I have no idea how to play this. Okay, all right, that's fine. You can withdraw. If I... Ooh, okay, that's neat. Oh, oh I can press, uh, well, for me it's X because I'm using uh, an SM30 Pro. I guess for everyone else it would be Y. If you're using like an Xbox controller or something. Use items. Um, hold on, can I? Oh, okay, I needed to press up to... I 
activate the dialogue. Okay. Okay, all right, that was not what I was expecting. Press the run button. Uh, that image doesn't make it. Oh, okay, is it? Okay, okay, all right. No, I do not. Some of the trailers I've seen of this game make it look like it's got like a, some really fun movement. And it, like, and it does. Like it, it already feels pretty good. Ooh, secret area. Will that be our masked dragon from the opening? Like I said, I already got some interesting lore. I can see I'll probably have to come back here later. Yep, Super Mario World style thing. We're on our date. You know what this is making me think of? Um, it gives me Shantae vibes with its characters and everything like that. But then the uh, the ball and like throwing it and stuff like that to uh, do the jumps and stuff makes me think of uh, Klonoa. Which, I mean, that's like That, that that's a good thing. Like that that's a compliment. Oh yeah, I can run. Can I get down there? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hold on, can we... Okay, not what I meant to do, but... I can definitely see potential, like, replaying levels with, uh, <clears throat> like, after you've gone through and gotten used to the game. Oh, checkpoint. Because I can definitely see how some of these uh, movement abilities could like could be chained together really well to make for some uh, really fast gameplay. Wait, nope. What? Shh. 
I can diagonal throw him. Oh, okay. So, no, no, no. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, you press down and jump. Okay. Jump higher. Makes me think of uh, Mario Brothers 2. Or Mario USA. However, however you want to call it. It's nice that there's just a button to bring him back. Head. Can I can I bounce off things heads? Yes, I can. Okay. Wrong way. Rose. One. Oh, I must have missed one earlier. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a reason to go back and replay levels. That was close. I don't actually want to start running. I haven't been because it just. Speed-wise, starting out and stuff, it just kind of feels like I don't need to. Um, I might actually have to start running. Yeah, look at that. Like I said, I'm obviously, like, first time playing. I don't have the, the muscle memory or the skill set for it, but I can definitely see a lot of potential for fast-paced uh, fast paced gameplay if you like really get to know this game's systems. We'll leave that alone for now. Oh. Ah. I was even starting, starting something there. Yep, that's a pit. Oh, oh, I bet you I could bounce on him. Yeah, I should have. I might have messed that up now, so. Let's just move on. Ah, uh, hey, same pit. Cool. I wonder if this has a live system. It's nice that it just jumps you right back into the gameplay. I, I, should, I should try this again. Wait for it to get higher up. There we go. Oh, spikes. Just like a shrine to one of the uh, daughters from the dragon. So close. Hey, 
Here's number two. Not how I was supposed to come up here, but... Oh, oh, oh. That was close. So it looks like there's more I could have done in that level. I missed a rose. I missed two other things. Okay. All right. Let's let's keep moving on though. Level two. There wasn't something up there. I didn't actually look as I was going past. Can't touch those. So I played with my mic some since I did that Aladdin Let's Play a couple weeks ago. And I think I've got it figured out so that it shouldn't be a problem. Can I make this? There we go. But I guess. We'll just have to wait and see how it does during this video. I did record a review already that should go up. Um, dang it. This coming Friday? It should, so long as nothing goes wrong there. And the audio there sounded good. So... I'm kind of hoping that just applies here. Oh, hey, another one of these. Neat. Hoping I won't get any more of those, like, where my voice was fading out and stuff like that during the clips and everything with, Al with the Aladdin Let's Play. Just getting down settings and stuff like that. Sometimes it can be a real pain when you're doing Also, this is going to sound weird, and I'm, I don't know if anybody else has noticed it as I've been playing, but am I getting screen tearing? Like, it kind of feels like I am at some points. Like, I need... It had a V-Sync option in the settings that I didn't turn on because I just didn't figure it I'd really need to worry about it, but how do I get down to you? Here we go. But yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some screen tearing. Gosh, I haven't seen, like, dang it. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that on, like, a retro style game like this since, like, actually playing games like, like retro games on uh, ZSNES and stuff like that, like those old emulators. Because like a lot of newer emulators, that's not really a problem on most of the time. But yeah, that's definitely some some screen tearing. 
Strange. Maybe I should have messed with the V-Sync setting, but... It's whatever. It's not gonna, like, majorly hamper my experience or anything like that. I was hoping I could go in the tent. Dang it, I was trying to throw him up and I went in the door instead. No way. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's probably for the best. If that would have worked, it would have been like, ah. I kind of cheated my way through that part. That was fun. Oh, hello. Secret door. Hmm. Ah, we're gonna have to leave that for now. I don't want to spend too much time there. level two and I actually got all the roses this time I don't know what that does for me but I got them I wonder how long this demo is like, if it's the entire first world then like, that's a heck of a demo I just, Man, that jump is something else. It's bouncing down there. Oh. Okay. I... Oh, okay. I saw the can bouncing down there, and I was like, oh, secret platform, but... Nope. but it felt cool. That jump is going to get me killed. I can see it. Once I get used to the game and I start using it more, 
I'll just be trying to speed through. Whoa, okay. That was not how I expected that to work. Okay. Um, I'll so try to just speed through areas and end up getting myself killed for it. I can see that happening already. Rose number two for this level. Don't know what roses do yet, but may as well pick them up. Okay. Uh, this makes me uh, think of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, I think it's 3 had like a vertical pipe level. And it was like the only level but you, that you could do this whole go back and forth between the areas. It might not have been the only level, but it was, it was a level that let you do that to progress vertically. That's what that made me think of. I always thought that was a cool level, so I appreciate seeing that here too. a completely separate path. Oh. There we go. Well, that's a key. It looks like a key at least. Interesting. Surely there's a better There we go. I was afraid to move forward. I didn't think I could make the jumps. Hey, that's a door. Secret path and another one of these sword things that I'll eventually figure out what they do. I'm sure that's three of them now. I'm gonna die. Oof, I didn't expect. That almost went badly. <laughs> Spikes kind of startled me, not gonna lie. I was holding up, dang it. Okay, okay. Wait. Does that jump make you invincible? No. Okay, I must have still just had iframes from the previous damage. where I was holding up there. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's probably on me. Despite all of these setbacks I've been experiencing here, I am still very much enjoying this game. Like its overall feel, controls are tight. Platforming feels fun. I can see a lot of potential for just kind of like sp like speedrunners. I, I I can see like some really like fun speedruns of this. 
that's popping up after its release. And while speedrunning has never been something I have cared to do, it's something I very much enjoy watching. we go. <laughs> Alright, boss fight. isn't bad. Oops. No, come back. How many takes this guy hit? Like, how many, geez. how many hits this guy takes, or am I doing something wrong? Oh, well, I was doing something wrong. Okay, okay. All right. I was like, man, this this is a lot of hits for our first boss. Okay, demo is still going. I'm surprised. Like, not a bad thing. It's a very, very in-depth demo. It makes me wonder how long uh, progress is. Like, for how far development progress is. Like, when this will be out. Oh, that's, yep, not what I expected, can't skip it. Yep, we've seen this already, I was just kind of dumb. Yeah, I can run. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's a thing because the walk speed just seems perfectly fine to me, you know? Thank you. 
We definitely want to continue this way if only because I saw a rose. Okay. Do I get to keep the key? Nope, I dropped it again. Yep, I dropped it again. And I forgot about that fish. Gosh. This is just screwing me hard. All right, okay. I know that there were other things I could have checked out there, but I just kept dying, so. Hello. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna take a drink here. I'm getting a little parched. Oh, Claire, okay. They mentioned her in the uh, opening. Special products from Claire can help you out. I haven't commented on it yet, but the music's pretty solid in this. Didn't you know? Was I low on health, or was that an instant kill? I wasn't watching. Because if spikes are an instant kill, that would kind of suck. <laughs> like, not, not gonna lie, that would be pretty mean, I think. And I'm not willing to test. I might find out anyway. Maybe I already know. Did I hit spikes once already? I might have.
and that just leaves uh, level five. But let's look at this first. Oh, is this my house? No, it can't be. I woke up at my house. What am I saying? Okay, that's what I've been collecting. Hello. You can pet the dog. <coughs> yep. This is a good game. Okay. The price is just zero coins. Um, no thank you. What's this? Mm. Are these? Oath Blades. The Holy Blades of the Oathen. They say if all the Oath Blades are returned, a miracle will occur. So that's why I'm collecting those. Probably for a good ending or something, I don't know. These roses are said to gather magic and hold it in their thorns. Probably somebody else I'll trade those with, as well as these lore tones. Yep. Okay. Alright, no, we don't need to mess with any of the settings. Buy it. One more pet. Oh, it's one of these levels. Okay. And this one comes from below. Okay. Ooh, checkpoint. Now I can die. Oh, oh. I messed up. Like I said, now I can die. Sorry, man. We don't have time to worry about you. Oh, that's such a slow crawl. Okay, this is going to require, like, a few attempts. Wrong way again, dang it. Go, 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 go. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Checkpoint. 
All right. What? Oh, is that one of the missing tomes? Yes, it is. Cool. Lore tome. and another tea thing. I don't actually know what those do still. We found the purpose of like everything but coin of coins, jeez, the teas. Boss fight? But I don't have a guitar. Mm, mm. Bad time to take a drink. It's got a spike head. Okay, I bet you. Oh. What? Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah, okay, you can bounce off him when he does that. Of the guitar. His hair goes down. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm figuring this out. And again. Oh my. Jump off his head. Over him, he does the wave. You almost get hit. And he blows up. Cool. That's not what I was expecting from the fight. That threw me off. Okay. I want to bet this is where I bring the swords. Interesting. This game has a very uh, interesting lore and world and setup and everything like that. It almost feels too, like, uh, almost too serious and epic for the uh, kind of, like, goofy nature of this game's story so far, you know? But then again, at the same time, everything is all, like, bright and colorful and carnival. So, this is the thing I, yeah, this is the thing I'm actually having to come back for. I cannot read that. You know what? I didn't press up at the 
sword up here. Maybe I should have done that. Let's, let's see. Before I close out, finish it up. Touch the blade. Okay. Okay. Well, I do believe that looks like that's all there is to the demo. This isn't moving forward, so I'm going to say... Um, man. Okay, so... Ugh, sorry, I wanted to get a stretch out there. Um, this is fun. I'm definitely digging it. I like it's kind of like NES slash Game Boy Color look. The platforming is super tight and fun. Uh, I definitely see a lot of potential for, like, speed runs and, like, really fast acrobatic fun play, which makes sense since I guess this girl's evidently an acrobat. Um... Music solid. Yeah, seems fun. Good demo. Uh, go check it out. It's on Steam. You can download the demo and play it for free. Uh, yeah, this is Curse Crackers. I don't know when the final release is, the expected release. I think it's... I don't think it has a hard release date, but I feel like it was coming out this year. I'll amend that if I'm wrong in the video, but I think it was coming out this year. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by and checking out this game with me. And, you know, I hope you guys all have a, a good one. And until next time, you know, take it easy.